daydreaming is free i'm gonna tell you what i will buy if i win the lottery you have to tell me what you will buy i don't think i will go crazy though because the last thing i want is bankruptcy but it will also be so boring if i tell you i'm gonna buy more properties and maybe bid a charity lunch with warren buffett for my husband as a surprise let's get right into it so the first category is watches i have three candidates here and i need your help to decide on one the first watch is from van cleef it's this pump that i don't speak french but the name of the watch basically means lover's bridge this is from van cleef's uh, poetic complications collection not only this watch there's also other watches in this collection they look amazing so the size of the watch is 38 millimeter which is really good size for me it's in rose gold bezel and surrounding with many diamonds here every day in the noontime and at the midnight two sculpted lovers inside of the watch come to kiss each other together for three minutes so originally i think they only allowed the two lovers to kiss for 10 seconds now the newer version the design is to have the two lover kiss for three minutes which is quite some time i know some people doesn't have the patience to wait until noontime and the midnight so the new version actually allow these two lovers to kiss anytime if you press it i think i'm sold on the love story can you guess how much the watch is? It's $221,000. The price may be slightly different, depends on the diamond, but it's in that range. So I could tell you from an investment perspective, Van Cleef watch is not an investment piece because the price point is so high. Also the brand itself when it comes to watches. So if I end up picking this watch, it's purely because I really, really love this watch. So the second one is the Royal Oak from AP. So the bracelet is in 18 karat pink gold. The dial is chocolate brown dial. It has three pink gold chronograph counters which reminded me a little bit of Daytona. It has the screw locked crown which is the signature look for AP. The squared crown make AP watches look so cool and stylish. This one retail at $63,600 which is cheaper than the Van Cliff one. The Van Cliff one is more romantic and feminine. This one is more stylish and cool looking and it's 41 millimeters. It will be all kind of similar to all my real Lex watches which is also a good size that I like. The last one is the Patek in rose gold with diamonds. So Patek was founded in 1839 and it is the last independently family owned Geneva watch manufacturer. They have really really high requirement on the time and they're definitely the leader in the industry. They also have a lot of innovative creation for the entire watch industry. So this watch is in the rounded octagonal shape. It's rose gold hardware. It has a sci-fi crystal case back. The back is definitely something very special about the Patek's watch and this one is retail about $59,140. When it comes to feminine and masculine, I feel Patek is in between AP and Van Cleef in this case. Which one is your favorite? The next category is the handbags. As a handbag lover, if I have more money, I'll definitely get the things I really love. If you haven't watched my special Hermes bags that you need to to know video you can check it out basically i mentioned in that video that i really like the hermes picnic kelly in the mini size mini picnic kelly is in size 20 and at the top is usually come in swift leather and at the bottom is in the wicker i just think the craftsmanship is so amazing because it's really hard to put wicker together and the other reason is that i can also wash the wicker if it's get dirty it's also slightly bigger than kelly mini because it's a little bit thicker so it can put a little bit more stuff in there which i really really like so this one is crazy expensive to buy it from the secondhand market so this one i might try to get it from the boutique i'm also really happy to just pick up the picnic kelly in size 35 which is the vintage version so the next one is also another bag that i mentioned in my special hermes bag that you need to know video which is the himalaya birkin in size 25 i don't need the diamond because the diamond one is just way too expensive some of you may already know the name of himalaya is because of the mountain the snow on the side and the mountain color it's really difficult to dye the leather material into this 
color that's why it's super super rare it's also really really difficult to get a boutique in order to get this bag because the price is high so your spending has to be like crazy i highly doubt that i will be able to get it from the boutique but another exciting thing about getting this bag is that when i really hit the jackpot i would love to fly to hong kong i will go to christie's auction i don't know if i would do telephone bidding like have the person on the call with me to try to bid this bag or i would love to be in person and just put the number up and try to bid this himalaya that would be a very very special and exciting experience this is something that i definitely would love to do just think about that if that's so exciting already i know himalaya is the ultimate holy grail i feel my handbag dream definitely complete if i could have a himalaya birkin in size 25 one day so the next category is fine jewelry trust me i wouldn't go too crazy you know how much i love my Hermes cdc bracelet if i do have more money i would love to get the diamond version of call it Deshaun, aka cdc bracelet the bracelet is in rose gold it comes with 492 diamonds it's retail for $48,600 so the second bracelet is the H bracelet in the diamond version I think part of me still keep thinking about that H bracelet because when I bought my CDC bracelet I tried on the plain version of H bracelet they look really really pretty together but the diamond version is just amazing it's in rose gold and it comes with 443 diamonds so the H bracelet is $37,900 these two jewelry pieces are definitely on the high price point I feel like if I get these two and it will at least help me to get some bags from Hermes directly hopefully that will help me to pick up the picnic Kelly in the mini size the last category is the ready to wear and I don't think I will be spending a lot of money on the basics and I think I will still wear what I usually wear but I would love to get some jackets and coat from Hermes for example like this beautiful Hermes drape collar coat it's double-sided and it's 100% cashmere and I really really like the classic design and also the material definitely feels really nice and I like that they really attend to the details like the leather buckle or like this leather jacket I really like the shilling details they're just so classic and they will be able to laugh me a lifetime definitely go check out my other videos in my Hermes and Chanel playlist leave me a comment down below let me know what you would buy if you hit the jackpot don't forget to like my video subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon bye bye